Okay, cool. Well, welcome. Welcome to the Google AdWords Advanced Tactics webinar. Taking Google AdWords to the next level. Uh, for this web webinar, we had about, uh, I think it was like 150 people to sign up. So, as always, it's very exciting. Um, a couple of things. The, the slides will be available after the presentation. So I'll give you the link and you'll, you'll be able to download the same PowerPoint presentation to your computer. So if you want to review it later or share it with your coworkers. The same thing uh, for, for the video. So this webinar is being recorded and it's going to be posted to my blog at the end of the day. So you can send that to, your, uh, to whoever you want or if you want to review later, you can do that too. And we're going to have a, a Q&A at the end of the presentation. So what, whatever questions you have, write them down and you'll have a chance to ask them to me later, okay? Good, so what do you can expect from this webinar? It's not AdWords 101, okay? This is gonna be a little advanced. So if you've never played around with AdWords, uh, this could be a little bit over your head. Your head. Um, so, uh, you, know, you know, don't feel overwhelmed. My, my goal here is to show you what's possible with, with Google AdWords, okay? And that takes me to my next point. I'm gonna show you the what and not the how. Okay, so I'm going to show you what is possible with, with, with Google AdWords and how to take it to the next level. But if, you, if I had to explain to you the how, how to do all these different things, I'll probably have to spend maybe six to eight hours with you. Uh, the good thing about the Internet is that you can search for whatever you want. So, you know, you can take some of my ideas and, and you can be like, oh, I mean, this would really, really work for my business and take that, Google it, and you'll see how it's done, okay? So, let's get started. The first tactic is optimize, optimize your campaign for cost per conversion, okay? And what I mean by this is you, there's, there's something specific that you want your visitors to do on your website, whether it's to fill out a contact form, or whether it's buying something from you, okay? Each of those people are a conversion, okay? okay? Conversion is someone who performs a certain action on your site. And you need to know your business very well. You need to know your numbers. You need to know how much each conversion is worth to you, okay? How much is each lead worth to you? How much is each sale worth to you? And once you can understand that, you can optimize your, your pay-per-click campaign based on this, on this metric. So. CTR, click-through rate, it matters, but you shouldn't optimize your campaign to have a really high CTR. The ad position matters. The, the higher you rank, the more clicks you'll get. But again, I mean, that's not what you should optimize your campaign around. Same thing for clicks. You want to get a lot of clicks, but only if the clicks are pro profitable, okay? Impressions, you want to get your, your ads to be shown to a lot of people, but if people click on the ads and those visitors become paying customers. So cost per conversion is the, the metric that, that you want to focus on. And you need to figure out how much a conversion is worth to you before you can start a pay-per-click campaign. The second tactic is obsess over keyword ad, ad and landing page consistency. You want your keyword, your ads, and your landing page to be consistent throughout the whole process. And let me give you an example. I did a search for Sony DSC-TX9, and I found this, this ad, right? And it says, right here, it says Sony and the model, everything that I was looking for, and the model is even here in the URL. And when I when I click on this, I go to this uh, exact page, and I can tell you for a fact that this is one of the uh, most most common mistakes that a lot of people make when they manage their own pay-per-click campaigns. They're they're 
their um, their landing pages are not not consistent with the ads. Okay, so people could click on 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 this, you know, Sony DSC uh, TX9 CyberShot, and some people take those visitors to their home page or to their cameras page, but not to the right page for that specific product. So it's really important that you take a look at all the keywords in your campaign and check your Google AdWords and see what page uh, is assigned to each keyword. Improve your quality score. The quality score is the score Google gives you for your, for your ads in your landing page. And basically, that's how relevant your ads and your landing pages are for, for a specific keyword. And by default, the quality score is not being displayed in, in Google AdWords, but you can change that very easily. You, can, you click on Filter and Views, then you click on Customize Columns, and then you, you check the quality score um, a box right here. And once you do that, you'll see that every keyword will have a quality score right next to it. And the quality score for this specific keyword is only a 3 out of 10. And, you know, and, and here we can get more details. The, the landing page and the landing page load time are okay, but the keyword relevance is very poor. So th that's something we need to work on. And this, then sometimes it's the other way around. The keyword is a good one, but then the landing page is not relevant to the, to the keyword. So maybe you're you know, uh, going after the keyword uh, digital cameras, and then when, when people visit your site, they find, uh, I don't know, camcorders or computers. Okay, so if there's a disconnect between your, your landing page and the ads, or the keyword and the ads, then uh, th this will hurt your quality score. And where you, when your quality score is not good, you'll end up paying a lot more for your traffic. And of course, that's something you don't want. You don't. You don't want to happen for you. And a really, a really good way uh, to check the quality score for for your landing pages is to use the Google Keyword Tool and to put the landing page right here in the website box and run the run the tool and see what result what results you get. And Google will give you a lot of keywords that are related to that specific landing page. Okay, so. That's, that's a really good way to see what Google thinks your page is about. I can't stress how important a really good landing page is. It makes all the difference. I mean, I, I've seen cases where conversion rates uh, increased by, you know, 5, 7, 10, just by making a better landing page. You don't want to take people to your, to your home page unless your home page is a, you know, uh, is, it looks like a landing page where, where you have a really nice call to action right here, a really nice image, uh, a few really amazing benefits right here. Uh, you know, you have free, uh, the most singles online, more ways to communicate. Uh, you know, the whole design, it looks really awesome. Uh, it, also, the, the image is very powerful. You know, we have this girl smiling, having a good time. Um, and I actually wrote a, an article on how to create a really good landing page. And you can get it from here. Uh, bit.ly forward slash G capital R capital H two capital L U. Okay. And if you if you get my slides later, uh, you can just click on, on the link in the slides. But let me say this again, the landing page is extremely important, okay? So you should spend a lot of time working on it. And sometimes our budget is not enough for the, the amount of traffic we want to get. And your, where our ad groups and some keywords are limited by budget. So what do we do when this happens? Well. If you've done your homework and your campaign is profitable, meaning that you're making more money than the campaign is costing you, then my, my advice to you is increase your budget. Okay, if you're making $3 for every dollar you're spending, increase your budget because you'll, the more you spend, the more, the more you'll make. 
but if this is not a possibility for you, then you can always lower your bids. And the way this works is, let's say you're spending $10 a day uh, to get traffic, right? And if you're paying $1 per click, that means you can only get 10 clicks. But if you lower your bids to, let's say, 50 cents, now you can get 20 clicks for, uh, for that, that budget, okay? So if you can increase your budget, do that. And if you can't, then lower the bids for, the, for your keywords. I can't stress how important it is to write great ads. And let me give you a couple of examples of ads I really like. The, the best kind I like is informational ads, where you, you take people to a page where they're going to find more information so they can make a good purchasing decision. And I did a search for hosting companies, and I found this one, web hosting reviews and rankings. See what the experts say. Okay, so that, that's, that's one of the, the can, kind of ads that works really well. You also want to filter out the wrong kind of traffic. For example, most ho hosting companies charge between $5 and $10 a month for, for hosting. But this company charges $139 because they offer a dedicated hosting service. So if that's the case, if you offer a premium service or if you offer a service that is not for everybody, you don't want everybody to click on your ad because you're paying for every click you get. So you can use things like price for example, or uh, geolocation. Like, for example, if you only serve customers in Seattle, you can say Seattle uh, in, the, in the ad. And that way, if you're not from Seattle, then you have no, no reason to click. Okay, so figure out who your target audience uh, is and use specific words in your ads to filter out the wrong kind of traffic. Use benefits, okay? Um, and there's, there's a difference between benefits and features. Features is what your product uh, is or your, what your product does. And the benefit is how that helps me. For example, you could say 99.9 uh, .9 uptime guarantee. That would be the feature. But what, what that, that does for me is it guarantees that my website will never go down. So it will be reliable and my website will always go up. And, for example, this, this website is, I mean, I, I don't particularly like this ad, this specific ad, but um, they stress one benefit, which is they, they offer personal concierge 